I am Agindra Singh from SAG Infotech and today I would like to show you our cloud GST software demonstration. Before starting a demo, I like to highlight our newly look or that we can say that a user friendly look of our software. After getting us so many suggestions of our users, here we work on that and give you a new aesthetic and modern look of our software. In that new look, we work on that user interface as well as the pictures and visuals of software where you user can easily work on it and work smoothly. So let's start and know that how to work on our software. So the screen what you're seeing right now, this is kind of a new picture of our software. This is my settings, but if you want, you can set your own settings and it is very much simple. For working on it, there is first we have a theme option where you can set your own themes according to dark color, light color. You can set your own themes as well. Other than themes, if you want, you can set your other things also. Other things means the colors, the font or the, uh, you know, visuals of software. This is completely editable. And here we give a complete rights to our user that they can set our own screen user interface. Now let's move on that how to work on our software. Initially for working purpose, you need to add your client master over there. There is an option client creation button. Click on the client creation button and then there is an option import. Click on the button import by GSTN where you need to enter your client user ID password and capture and then click on submit button. This is a one time process. But once you set it, then you can automatically import the whole data from portal to software. Now, after importing the data, you can check that here, you automatically show the list of your particular clients in that section. All the details are there. And the most important part that here you can add n number of GSTN. We give you the rights that you can add n number of master. There is no restriction to add your master. Now, after adding a master, we move on to the next option, which is a returns related part. First, we show you the regular returns. In regular, we have a GSTR1, 2A, 2B, 3B, 9, 9C and ITC. So let's start the working with GSTR1. Now here, if you can check that here, software show you list of your client. Now, uh, starting working purpose, you need to select the year that for which year you want to work for which uh, particular period that it's for monthly quarterly or for which month you want to work just select your particular client before starting a working here we give you some other options also that for example if you want to import your particular client or selected client data from portal then here you can import your gstr1 2a 2b all kind of data directly from portal to software just need to select that all year click on done and then software completely import your data after importing the data you can compare your data with other options or if you want you can move on the other work other than that there is an option get status from portal you can check your particular client status filing status from portal and other options also so now after that click on the gstr1 fill form now once you click on your particular client button select your particular client and then check your particular client data is that your client having a actual data or the data is correct or not so for example this is the data of your client after checking the data if you want to check the data detailed wise click on the detail button click on the gstn wise here you can check your data according to gstn wise invoice wise item wise there is so many options are there or if you want you can also import the data from other options also here we give you the option import and export first we give you the option import from ecom this is a newly option where if you want you can import the data from amazon csv file flipkart excel file misho excel file or if you want you can also import the data from government excel this is a fast import option we have and then we have a tally direct import option there is some conditions and if you follow the proper condition you can completely import your tally sales voucher data after importing your data you can do the reconciliation or if you want you can also import the data from sag excel government excel json file and so on so after importing your data if you want to compare then we have a unique report comparison which is compare with portal 
now what is the compare with portal all about basically for example if you want to compare your portal data with software if you want to compare your portal data with excel so you can select your data and then you will receive that kind of report software data means the data which we import from the third software or third party software or portal data is the portal data now if you scroll it further then you can check the details this is the matched detailed invoice if you want to check the mismatch you can check the mismatch detail if you want to check the missing in software extra in software all these details you can check after that if you want you can you know select the detail select the section and then you can save the data or check the data for further purpose this is one of a feature which we have and where you can save your time very easily because usually people doing that task and they spend so much time because they need to do the process manually but if you have our software you can do that reconciliation and comparison quickly now after that we have a comparison of gstr1 and 3b here what you can do if you want to compare your gstr1 and 3b data so you can compare your gstr1 and 3b data as well like this this is a single month data if you want to compare whole year data click on that single view to monthly view and then you can check a whole year comparison like this not only that if you want you can also export the data into excel as well now other than that we have other options also where you can check your ecom operator detail your receiver details summary of your all that data consolidated summary of your all data and then we have an option which is called a turnover report once you click on yes then what software do software give you a turnover report turnover report of your client where you can check the data as per gstr1 3b and the same time difference between them like this this is also a unique feature which we gives you other than that here we give you the qrmp option qrmp option means a quarter wise report if you want to check your whole data quarter wise then here you can check this data also this is also a kind of a unique report which we have after cross check everything finalizing everything if you want to file the return then same option select your client and then click on the gstr1 fill form after that there is an option e file button click on the e file button software give you a summary of your all the invoice information you can just cross check it and then click on generate json after click on generating a json software validate your all data and if there is any error software generate a error report like this or if there is no error then software directly generate the json and take you to the page of submit return where if you want you can directly submit the return on portal as well so this is a simple process in gstr1 where you can prepare your file you can do the reconciliation you can upload the return and so on other features also now here we have one more unique option where we give you a rate wise dashboard if you want you can check your particular client rate wise dashboard like this here if we give you the option that if you want you can export the data into excel as well now after the gstr1 we we move on to the next option which is a gstr 2a and 2b now same option is there select your client if you want to import the data from portal select the gstr 2a 2b select your particular section and then import your whole data from portal to software after importing the data what you can do you can directly click on gstr 2a fill form where you can check your all the gstr 2a data like this if you see check the data gstn wise you can check the data gstn wise if you want to check any unique data you can click on unique option if there is any duplicate invoice you can check the duplicate invoice separate report or same time we give you a gstr 2b report where we compare the 2a and 2b if you want to check your 2a and 2b comparison just click on that button and click on show data software compare your 2a and 2b data and this is the matched data report like this the same time if you want to check the extra data in 2a click on show data and then software give you the extra data report if you want to check any extra data in 2b so software give you the extra data report in 2b as well other than that here we give you the 2b and 3b report also like this you can check your 2b and 3b report as well as well as here we give the separate rate wise dashboard for separate 2a and separately for 2b as well so this is the overall things which we give you and we have a itc 
option also that input credit ledger where if you want to compare your purchase invoice data you can compare your purchase invoice data as well select your client click on itc available and then here we give you the option import button where if you want you can import the data again from government excel as well as if you want you can import the data from tally where you can import your purchase voucher information or if you want you can import that uh, import data from government excel from gst 2a and 2b after importing your data what you need to do there is an option itc report with 2a and 2b click on that button and then you will get a proper comparison between the portal data and your selected data where you can check the 2a data matched report mismatched report x 2a data not found new invoices here our software automatically bifurcate the data that how much data extra in portal how much extra data in tally or some excel so that kind of proper report we will give you and here we have a unique option where if you want to ignore some option while comparison so you can ignore the date you can ignore the time uh, like that uh, taxable value whatever you want to ignore according to you and here we have a partially matched invoice report as well partially matched invoice basically for example while doing a comparison some data something it happens that everything is matched but some minor differences which we not able to find out so that kind of data comes in a partially matched invoice if you want to allow the data as a matched invoice then you can click on update as a itc matched invoice so it's automatically come as a matched invoice other than that we have a compare button where you will get a 3b with register 2a with register 2b with register and once you click on that then you will receive a report where you can check your all the summary as well as the gst invoice registered with uh, register with 2a comparison gst month wise register with 2b comparison GST invoice wise register to be comparison all that kind of reports and comparison report in a single screen. So here we give you your all the solution on a single screen. Now other than that we have a 3B filing also. In 3B we will give you a 3B filing facility that if you want you can directly import the data from portal download data from portal and then if you want you can import the data from government excel from gstr1 or from our own sag excel as well after that if you want you can compare the gstr 3b with 2a like this usually people software give you the original but here we give you the original plus amendment comparison other than that if you want you can compare your gstr 2b with credit registers like this how much ITC available, revised and net ITC, that kind of quick reports. Other than that, here we have a GSTR 1 and 3B. Now come to the main part. If you want to file the return, just enter the detail. I already have the data which is already filed. So here you can check your data where software show you the output inward supply detail, interest rate detail. Here software show you the late fee, payment of tax, all the detail in single screen like this. Autofill calculation is also there and if you want you can directly file the return there is an option e-file click on the e-file and then you can upload your e-file the important part is the reporting part usually once you you know uh, uh, that after due date if something return file then software automatically calculated and give you that kind of report where you can check that kind of report which includes your uh, liability information payment of taxes information eligible ITC information all the itc offset and all the proper report in a single screen there is an option download all the data into excel you can export your data into excel and then check your all the reports other than that we have a 9 and 9c option also where now after that we will uh, come to the 9 part where what you can do that if you want to file your 9 or 9c you can file your 9 9c also but here what we give you a unique part that here we give you the various options where you can import your data for preparing your 9 and 9c like you can import the data from excel from json from portal from return from registers as well as ledgers and after that you can compare your data between the software and portal software portal and books software portal books and returns or any of them 
and once you click on ok then here you can check the detail like this data as per portal data as per books data as per return and same time the differences every page we will show you not only for that but here we also guide you that what is the purpose of that like if you click on that question icon here we will give you the detail about that particular point once you read it and once you f uh, check everything just click on e-file button and then you can also file your gst and 9 and 9c also where you can check your previous history software generate the error report you can generate the preview draft of 9 pdf file and then if you want to proceed for upload you can proceed for upload as well so this is the overall part where you can file your all the returns related things other than that we have a separate report section where we have a separate returns related report just select your client click on the report part and look here you will get a multiple reports reports as per monthly quarterly and annually as well as the various other subjective reports so we have a separate itc liability report as well select your client and then you will receive a proper report for itc and liability related things like this here we have a customized report option also which is also a unique report feature which we have sometimes it happens that you know uh, you need to create a report which includes your all client information but sometimes you want that you create uh, some fields or options according to you so here we give you that option where you can select the fields according to you for example today i want to create a report which includes all the master information all my clients returns information all the clients returns acknowledgement information as well as the difference as well as that uh, turnover details hsn report whatever details i want to select for a particular period select it and then click on proceed according to uh, selecting my choose field software create and generate that kind of proper report this is not a simple report but a very useful report for you you can directly inform to your particular client by message, by email, uh, that what are the status of your particular filing and everything. Other than report, we have other options also, which is comes a user part. As I told you that here, we give you the multiple users options. So here you can set your own users. Users means here, you can set according to you that which one users, uh, like you want to allot your particular rights to a particular user and create your user rights backup option here you can check it you can schedule your backup here we give you the notice part where if you want you can you know select and download and get the latest information directly from the portal there is option get latest notice from the portal you can select it and get the all the latest notices so this is the basic information about our software where you can do everything and all the things directly on a single screen other than that now i show you other part also the part what we seeing right now this is a part of basically a gst filing related part but other than that i told you that we have gst eWayable and e invoice also we are completely open to take your suggestions if you have any kind of suggestion you can directly drop a mail on our email id which is info at the rate saginfotech.com and if you suggest anything via call you can also call us and you can take a support from our number which is 0141 407 000.